Hello and welcome to Wiremock Cloud Academy. Today we're going to be learning how easy it is to create API mock in Wiremock Cloud, as well as highlight the dynamic request matching and dynamic response capabilities. In Wiremock Cloud, you can create a mock using recording, open API import, but you can also start from scratch and create a mock manually. Notice that Wiremock Cloud does offer a free forever edition. And let's start by pressing the new stub button. You can see that we have two sections, request and response. In request, we're going to define the match criteria, and in response, we're going to define what the response will be. Let's start by changing the stub name. Now, we're going to define the match criteria to when a call will be matched with a stub. Developers will usually create various stubs. Each represents a business scenario, and different calls will match different stubs. We can set advanced match criteria, such as match by HTTP method, query param, header, cookie, body, set up advanced scenarios, plus a lot more. And we'll also learn how to use these methods in the dynamic request match lesson. But for now, we will do a simple match by using the get HTTP method. Now we set the response. Again, you can set advanced dynamic response, use templates, define fail scenarios, and a lot more. We'll also learn about that in the dynamic response lesson, but for now, we will set a simple static response. Let's save the stub, and now we can use the Wiremock test requester to test the stub. You can see that we call the stub and get the response, which we set. These were 90 seconds high level overview of Wiremock Cloud. Now you've seen how easy it is to get API mock up and running in less than 90 seconds. And you can check out the other videos in Wiremock Cloud Academy to learn about more capabilities and use cases.